to make homemade gingerbread cookies inspired by Abraham Lincoln. In a large bowl with four and a half cups of flour, you wanna add one tablespoon of ground cinnamon, two teaspoons of ground ginger, one half of a teaspoon of ground cloves, and one fourth of a teaspoon of baking soda. And now you want to sift all of the ingredients together. Make sure to sift really, really well to incorporate the ginger, cinnamon, baking soda, and the cloves into the flour. In a separate bowl, add one half cup of softened butter, one half cup of packed brown sugar. Blend the softened butter and the brown sugar until they're well combined. Add the eggs one at a time. Add three fourths cup of molasses. It's sticky, so watch out. I always use grandma's molasses. It's truly the best. Mix all of these yummy ingredients together. The molasses, oh my goodness, it smells so sweet. Good, but sweet. <laughs> Slowly add the flour mixture. Now with each little bit or each cup, you wanna mix it really well. It's gonna be a lot to mix. So you wanna probably just add one cup at a time and then mix. Once the cookie mixture is thoroughly combined, you want to divide it in half and put it into two separate balls and flatten it out. Wrap each with saran wrap and then you want to refrigerate for a few hours until the dough is firm. Sprinkle some flour on top of some uh, parchment paper on your counter and we're gonna roll out the cookie dough now. The flour helps the cookies to not stick. It's also helpful to put some flour on top of your rolling pin too. Use those big strong muscles to roll out this cookie dough. It is thick and you wanna flatten it. So you can use your cookie cutters and make your desired shapes. The cookies are ready for the oven. You wanna put them in a preheated oven of 350 degrees and cook until they're browned. I'm gonna bake them for about 10 minutes or so and see if those are browned enough. The cookies are out of the oven and it only turned out to be about seven or eight minutes <clears throat> for them to be, uh, the corners to be brown and they are done. Make sure to put the cookies on a cooling rack for a few minutes before you eat them or let them cool totally and decorate them however you like. Put icing, decorations, sprinkles, everything to make them pretty or just eat them plain like this. <laughs>